What's up, everybody? I hope everyone's having a good day. I hope you're all taking care of yourself, getting the proper nutrition, staying indoors, you know, wearing masks when you have to go out, all that good stuff. Just, you know, staying, staying positive, staying motivated, staying creative, and getting into the studio and getting creative. Uh, at any rate, I hope everyone is having a good Sunday. So again, no theme. We're just going to get stuck right in. Um, we are going to record some bass. And um, yeah, we, we've got our track set up from our last session, ready to go with all of our machine drums loaded in. We just want to go ahead and record some bass. So I'm going to go ahead and go on Radio Silent. And you're just going to see my process for jumping right into Pro Tools uh, with nothing set up yet and recording some bass.
All right, we have our bass tracks recorded, which makes me oh so happy because listen to how this sounds. Good Lord, this is what I've been hearing in my head, people. And uh, like I said, by the time you guys hear this, it'll be in the past. So, um, you know, by the time these videos actually become uploaded, you'll have heard this song if uh, all goes according to plan, long before these videos actually drop. So it'll be cool. You'll be able to hear the song, and then I'll be able, like, I'll be able to point to the videos and say, here's how I made it coming up, you know what I mean, in the next few weeks. So um, at any rate, this is the coolness that we've been waiting for. And I don't know what I'm going to do vocally yet. I'm going to just kind of sit with it and see, but it'll be something along the lines of... That's kind of what I'm thinking of anyway. Um, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go for a full out Neve sound and I'm gonna just go for some dirt. So let's duck this output by a touch. Let's hit the drive, baby. Let's juice it up. So something like that. We might as well do a take of it, and we can always mute it if we don't want to hear it throughout the week. But we want to get a working copy of this that um, has all of our ideas down. So this is a fairly juiced Neve recording. It's going through some Neve preamp, but then I've got a Neve not printed yet because I might do a blend of the two, a blend of the dry and the, the wet, obviously. But for now, it's just running as an effect on it. And let's just do a take and see how we feel about it. Might as well. Mouth open, we've decided.
I mean, that's kind of what, at least what I've been, you know, that's what I've at least been going for, is a sound like that. So let's go ahead and apply our fade technique, and bam. Do you guys see how I did that earlier? If I didn't walk you through it yet, what I do is I select the smallest area that I'd like to fade, which is one of these little bars, one of those little grid marks. And I see what the length is in milliseconds, and the length is right here. Bang, 92. So going back into grid mode, bars and beats, then I can apply a fade. If I take, if I take these uh, fades off, then you can see what I'm talking about here. Um, Okay, so no fades on this. No fades are on this yet. And I wanna put some fades on it. So I look at the area that I wanna fade, which is just the end of it. You know what I mean? It's just like one of these little bars. So the, the, the area that I wanna fade is a tight window, typically. I just wanna keep it like that. And so I'd normally, if without drawing these in by hand, you go Command F, right? Well, if you're doing multiple fades at once on the beginning and the end, then I look at that length and I say, okay, the length in here in bars beats is 240. Well, that means nothing to me in a fade window. Uh, but if you switch over to milliseconds and seconds, then you can see, okay, that's 92 milliseconds. Switch back over to bars and beats for grid mode. And then we'll apply our fade at 92 milliseconds. So you saw me type that in earlier because I was looking for it, right? <clears throat> so I type it in apply the fades, and presto. Now that's my fade done. So um, any, anyway, uh, pretty cool. We can go ahead and see what this sounds like. Actually, I need to turn off the input monitoring and switch the effect back on to see what this sounds like. So let's see. Like it. All right, so um, we can first off, let's kill the input on that first channel, and then um, we'll just say this is vocal. Uh, Chanel uh, for now and keep this underneath the vocal mix. Um, so far, I'm really happy with where we're at. And um, yeah, we've, we've gotten a pretty good amount of ideas in the mix at the moment. Uh, we can go ahead and see what else we want to put on it in the way of keyboards, guitars. I thought about recording a room uh, I've, I've grown really accustomed to having a nice trashy room mic that I can put some really dirty compressor, compressors or just different stuff on. So I think I might do that at some point too, coming up. We'll see. But at any rate, we got some cool sounds on a Sunday. Until next time.